Okay, whaling was the reason why this town was settled in 1791. And this is Eden, so welcome to Eden. But in 1828, the town was settled. The first settler in the area was Captain Thomas Rain. The town was named after George Eden, who was some British army general, who also was in India was for um, artillery or something like that along those lines. But anyway. So another colonial name to the area, Jojo. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> We've just had a nice little quick tour from Robin, who owns, the, who owns the building behind us, which is now a house, and was a former post office. So now we're going to take a walk around Eden and show you some of the most important points along the way and um, see some of the heritage buildings. What I'm gathering is going to be a fairly brief walk of Eden. Come along with us and let's discover. Eden, 1830, a hive of activity for the timber industry. Can you imagine all of that timber going into all sorts of uses, whether that be railway sleepers, whether that be export of the wattle, um, furniture, buildings, all of those sort of uses that we still have for timber. So behind me is a memorial. Um, to those uh, fallen in their line of commitment uh, in terms of their duty to the timber industry, there are a number of fatalities. We are in this memorial park uh, and it has uh, lots and lots of names uh, for those people that have fallen along the way. So it's also a reminder to take um, our workplace very seriously in relation to OH&S, that's Occupational Health and Safety. Um, I noticed that there is a, um, an axe here. Let's, uh, let's be very safe with those sort of implements. This flag mast was originally erected in 1861 at the Lighthouse and Harbour Masters Quarters on the Eden Lookout above Twofold Bay and proudly served there for over 100 years. Flags and symbols were the only means of communication for Harbour Master to signal ships entering or leaving Twofold Bay. The flag master was used until the 1970s when it was dismantled and re-erected in the middle of town. the original Eden Museum from 1938 and it was built for the skeleton of Tom the Killer Whale. 
Over the years it's been extended, extended and made a bit bigger and the uh, lighthouse has been put in, but uh, spectacular views from here. Tom the Killer Whale was known as a leader of his pack. Tom would swim to the whaling station at Kea Inlet, leap out of the water and splash about until the whalers launched their boats then led the way to where the whale had been rounded up by the pack. Tom died in 1930, the beginning of the whaling decline. Tom was a loyal killer whale to his fellow humans. This is our final stop of the walk. This was the, originally the Presbyterian Church which was built in 1866. Anyway, time for us to move on from here. So thank you for coming along with us and joining on our adventure and we'll see you on the next one. Bye folks.